Hey y'all, I'm Nikki, this is Max, and you're watching Max's Mom's Creations. So I'm coming to you today from my shipping room. This is where I pack up all the orders before I ship them out on their way to you. We make our dog carriers in six different standard sizes, ranging all the way from 12 inch long dogs all the way up to 27 inch long dogs. So that's an extra small all the way up to an extra extra large dog carrier. Now, of course we have Max. Max is a small dog. So that's basically our experience with our dog carriers. So we really relied on our customers who have bigger dogs to let us know what features would make things easier for them to be able to use our carriers when they're trying to transport their larger dogs. Now the customers using these larger dog carriers are not carrying their dogs around in them all day long like I do with Max. That's, that would get too heavy. That's just not the way they're using them. What they're using them for, these are people who live in places like New York City or other places where they have to use public transportation, but there are rules or laws in place where your dog has to be in a carrier in order for your dog to be able to ride on public transportation. That's where our larger dog carriers come in. So what those customers told me was that the way that they're using our dog carrier is that they're carrying the empty dog carrier on their shoulder and they're walking their dog on a leash and then when they get to wherever it is they have to get on public transportation then they're opening the carrier getting their dog into it and then getting the carrier onto public transportation the dog stays in there until the ride is over and then they get them out and then they hook the leash up walk the dog again and the carrier is back on their shoulder the empty carrier so they asked me to come up, come up with solutions to three problems that they were having that would make using our carriers even better. And those three are an easier way to get their dog in and out of the carrier, an easier way to lift their dog onto public transportation, and an easier way to carry that empty dog carrier while they're walking their dog on a leash. So this is what we came up with. So for an easier way to get their dog in and out of the carrier, this solution actually came from the owner of a small dog. Um, she had a small dachshund, but the dachshund was having back issues, which is so common with dachshunds, and it just hurt the dog when she tried to pick him up to put him into his carrier. So she asked if I could put a zipper down the back of the carrier so that her dog could just walk in, and then she could carry him where he needed to go. So we started making those and the big, the people who own bigger dogs caught on very quickly that this was a much easier way than I guess what you do is squish down the carrier and get your dog in and then try to pull the dog carrier up around your dog. So this is a much easier way. So this is what we came up with. So this is a carrier that I'm making for a customer. Uh, this is somewhere between an, a large and an extra large, so this is not by any means the biggest carrier we make, but this is a good example because it has the three features that we're going to talk about today. Um, so this one has this rear zipper on it, so you just unzip this zipper, it's pretty basic, and that opens it up so that your dog can just walk into their carrier. And then once they're in, you close it up, you zip that back up, and now your dog is secure inside the carrier and you didn't have to squish the carrier or try to lift your dog or anything. So a much easier way to load your dog into the carrier. The second thing they asked for was an easier way to lift and carry the carrier onto public transportation. So what we came up with was these grab handles. So you've got the shoulder straps here but those are kind of high and far apart to be able to really get a good lift with. So we put these small grab handles right at the top of the carrier so that you can just pick it up and get your dog onto the platform or wherever it is that they're going and then lift it to get them off again. So for two little pieces of strap that go on the top of the carrier, I've gotten a lot of comments from people about how much easier this makes it to get their dog onto public transportation. So we've got the grab handles. 
So the third thing they asked me to try to come up with was an easier way to carry the carrier while they're walking their dog on a leash. So this is what we came up with. Now this is, we're calling this the backpack straps, but don't get confused. This is not a backpack where you can actually carry your dog on your back. Um, this is just for carrying an empty carrier and making it easier. So you're on public transportation, your dog is done with the carrier, you've got them hooked back up to a leash again, and your only other option is to carry this big giant dog carrier on your shoulder. It's cumbersome, it's in the way, this, this would be difficult to carry around all day. So this is what we came up with. First thing you do is take the bottom out of it, this hard bottom, take that out of it, and that just sits vertically inside the carrier. And then you fold the bottom up, oh, other way up. You fold the bottom up and you fold the sides in. And then we've got two, we've got a hook and a D-ring right here that you just hook those two things together and that holds the whole package all together like that. And then on this side are these two backpack straps. So you just put this on like this and now a much easier way to carry your dog's carrier and now you've got your dog on a leash You've got their carrier on your back. So then the next time you get to a place where you need to, they need to get into the carrier to ride public transportation, all you need to do is take that off, unhook the hook, open it up, take that hard bottom, put that down inside, And of course, because you've bought the entire large dog package, you've got the rear zipper, so you just unzip it and let your dog walk in, and then you are all set. Use the grab handles, lift your dog, put them on the public transportation, and that was a much easier solution than any other way that we found. My favorite part of owning this business is being able to work with customers to come up with solutions to challenges that they're facing when they're trying to take their dog with them or do something specific with their dog. These were three solutions we came up with for people that have larger dogs, but maybe there's, a, there's a, an issue that you're facing that one of our products might help with, but you want a little tweak to it, something that would make it even better, please feel free to contact me. All my information is down below. I can also be found on Facebook and Instagram and uh, of course on my Etsy shop. Excuse me, on my Etsy shop. Um, you can go ahead and contact me there. Let me know what the problem is that you're facing and we can maybe figure out a solution to it. And if you're facing that problem, probably somebody else has the same problem. So we can help everybody to solve that issue. Everything we can do to make it easier for you to take your best friend with you. Well, I guess that's it for this week. So make today an adventure and take your best friend with you too. Right, Max? Yeah. Bye, y'all.